Today we're back in the Ivy League, touring Harvard Stadium. So you know there's going to be some fun historical facts related to college football that will be discussed today with the stadium. Harvard Stadium is home of the Harvard football team, which is not surprising given the name of the stadium. As most people know, Harvard University is located in Cambridge, Massachusetts, just northwest of downtown Boston. However, Harvard Stadium is actually located across the Charles River and is located in Boston, Massachusetts. Harvard Stadium is located in a sports complex with Harvard's other facilities, including the baseball field, and it's adjacent to the Harvard School of Business. Every photo you see today was taken by me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. You can write in the comments section what you like about this stadium. And with that, we can start the tour. Harvard Stadium is the oldest concrete structure in college sports and was the first stadium in the U.S. built for college football. It's a simple horseshoe-shaped layout with a single tier of seating. It has a press box on top of one side, which you can see here. There are some interesting historical facts related to college football that are associated with the stadium, though. Uh, one of them is the forward pass was adopted because of the stadium and field dimensions were set due to the history of this. I don't want to get too much into it, but you know they do it through the safety of the sport. They wanted to expand the, the field out. Harvard Stadium was already built and would not fit the new field, so Harvard objected. And with that, they introduced you know these new rules with the forward pass and setting the field dimensions. So a little bit of interesting history there. When you look at Harvard Stadium, you can see a lot of the past and present. Looking towards the past, it's very similar to ancient Greek and Roman stadiums. Uh, you can look at the Panathenaic uh, Stadium in Greece, I did a video on that. This is very similar to that. And then in, in, the, in the present, if you look at Ohio State Stadium, it, you know it's almost a much bigger version of this where they would start with the stadium, add multi-tiers of seating. So it's, it's interesting to see you know, the simple structure and yet you, you have the past and the present tied to it. Looking on the outside of Harvard Stadium, you know, it looks a lot like the Roman Colosseum in Rome, so going back to the Romans. One thing about uh, Ivy League stadiums, they always seem to be a lot smaller than the actual capacity. This stadium has a very small footprint, but still holds over 25,000 seats, which I think is impressive. And it's one of uh, four athletic arenas to be a historic landmark in the United States. It would be uh, a good trivia question to ask yourself, you know, what are the other three? Along the top of the stadium, you can see the columns going across. This is similar to you know, the Greeks and Romans, so another tie into the ancient stadiums. This stadium actually opened up in 1903. It currently has a capacity of 25,000. The stadium once used to have a capacity of 57,166. They had seating going across the north end zone now. Today, they are there are no stands in the north end zone to really reduce the capacity. Another thing to note, in 2006, they installed lights to the stadium, and the stadium does not currently have natural grass. Every video, I like to throw in a photo of myself at the stadium, showing that I was actually there. This takes us to the end of our tour. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can write in the comments section what stadium you want me to do next. And until next time, take care.